Again, I'm filming here at Dragon's Den, Poughkeepsie, New York. This game is a reworking of a four in a row drop game which bears many names. Commercially, you have Connect Four as a main one, there's other ones, other companies did it. This is just a generic set I picked up. I drew a line here because this was a different version so that you can have up to six pieces that way. The, com the public domain name for Connect Four is called Captain's Mistress. There's a story behind it that there was Captain Cook, or some other explorer from the past, was sailing. You get bored time, so he was uh, pretty much in his. Pretty much, he stayed in his quarters and would play this game with the scientists. The crew joked it was the captain's mistress, aka girlfriend, today. Anyhow, what you have with the game here is you have your four in a row board, your captain's mistress board that's seven wide and six high. What you do in the game is actually you have that. You have 21 pieces per piece. Six times seven is 21. You're going to have two sets of cards. Each player gets a card. These are a selection tool. They are not a randomizer. So you have ace through seven. The red matches this way. For the blue, I'm giving them the black cards, the black space. See ace through. See those here. And now during your turn, you're also actually. Let me continue. At the start of the game, pick one of the players to have an initiative. This is called simultaneous captain's mistress because the turns happen simultaneously. During the turn, what you'll do is both players will go through their cards and pick out one. Let's say, because, oh, by the way, the initiative marker. We're using the box for this here. What the initiative marker does is that in the event both players, let's say both players pick column three, the person who has the initiative marker would drop first. Drop, their, drop one of their pieces in three. Their opponent then would drop in three on top of it. And then you would see if if the blue player got four in a row vertically or horizontally or diagonally. And then you see if the red won. After that, the red side has the initiative. The initiative is a uh, metagame involved. Also, what you have here is, let's begin, we'll play the following. Let's, and this is done simultaneously down. I'm going to say blue picks four, and remember blue has the initiative, and let's say red picks four, just to kick it off. Actually, no, we'll have red pick three now. So then they would put it, I know, no, I, I like to do it like a batch, but you can do whatever else. They show at the same time. Remember, black goes first, so we'll drop the stone in there. And now red goes three. And then play continues like this. Now, let's say, for example, red is going to pick three again, and we'll have the blue side go to five, okay? Five. Goes ahead, moves the initiative, blue will drop in five. Remember, they are flipped over and revealed, it's always this, same time. And then red goes in, blue goes in five. Red goes in like that. Okay. Now, what you're going to see here is that blue fields are going to make a shot. This is a dangerous spot here if it's particularly open ended when there's two in a row. But this one, we'll have blue decides to go to six. Blue's going to go to six. As you see there. And red, realizing he's concerned, will play six also. This is where it's going to switch sides. So we reveal six, and as you can see, six. That means blue will drop in six first, and then red now drops in six. The initiative is going to switch. This is where a little bit of mind game comes in here. What you do is that, for example, red knows. We know that red, red probably wants to play there. Blue knows that, so blue might want to play someplace else because red does this. So red then can think, oh, blue's not going to play there. I'll play somebody else maybe up there. But let's do the following. We'll do the same play and we'll do the same thing. Red blocks. Red is going to block. We'll have red block and play in seven, for example. So X puts his cards down. Now blue goes. And then blue decides, ah, it's probably going to be blocked anyway, but he wants to get the initiative back, so he'll pick seven or so. So we flip. Seven, seven. 
red will crop first. And usually to put a space up, we'll do it that way. Now, blue goes in seven, gets the initiative back. Okay. Now we're in a situation here. You can have the cards member constantly playing. Let's say, for example, uh, let's say red plays in. Let's say red plays five. Red plays five, and uh, blue picks four. Actually, blue picks two. We're gonna actually end the game here. Well, actually, no. We'll have blue play, a red play. Actually, yeah, blue. We're actually gonna have red play three, trying to threaten three in a row. Be able to show it, and then blue decides they're going to end up. Playing man. That's the way he builds. That's the way you So, remember, blue has the initiative. Blue plays in four. Red plays in three. So, red drops in three. And this selection will continue. Let's assume that they're going to keep selecting cards, for example. Red does. Blue has the initiative, decides to drop in three. Red picks three. Um, red decided to do something else. One like that there. And then blue decides to play up here again. I'm going to show you something else that happens. Blue threatens there. Red threatens here. Play that again. Now you're faced with the situation here. We'll see the boards going up. Play. Move it closer. I made a mess out of the board here. Anyhow. Red. Okay, let's say blue has the initiative. Blue's will drop here and red plays also through. You're at the line. Red does not get to make a move there. In addition, let's say we play this again. Blue has an issue. Blue would not be able to play in three either in the future. It's just going to be picked the same. Anyhow, play would continue. Let's say red goes here. Blue decides now to go here. And blue, let's say blue had the initiative. Actually, back that up. Let's say blue plays here. Yeah, that's why blue does play there. Now, let's say red has the initiative in blue and they drop at the same time. Like that. And now. Because red has the initiative, red got four in a row before blue. And then wins again. That's how you play Simultaneous Captain's Mistress. I do thank you for watching. And may your die always roll die.